Hello. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how we can modify DAX functions like calculate and filter function to get the desired output like in Excel sum if function. So for this video, I have created a sample data set. And this is how it looks like. So in the column A, we have year, column B, the product, and column C, the sales. So as you can see here, the 2015 has been repeated three times for product A, B, and C. Similarly for 2016, A, B, C, respectively. So I want to use the equivalent to sum if function in Excel, and let's try to calculate just the sales uh, made by product A and see if that can fulfill the same purpose. So let me quickly load this data into Power BI. So now I have the data loaded into this PBI. So let me create a matrix here. Let me bring this to center. And then to the rows here. And then let me bring the sales to the values. So now, as you can see, I have the years and sales. Now let's take a scenario. I just wanted to have one measure and I want the sum of sales of the product A only. So now what I'm gonna do is create a new measure here. And then let me call this as sum if A. I just want the sum of product A. So I'll write calculate expression sum of sales made comma filter context. So basically I want to check the sales made by product. So I need to bring the product here equal to this product A. So now if I hit enter, If I bring this to the values here, you can see I'm getting only the sales made by product A. So similarly, if I want to make calculate the sum of product B, let me call this as sum of sum if B equal to calculate sum of sales filter context product, let's say B, and hit enter. So now if I bring this to the values, you can see I'm getting only the sales of product B. I now, if you want, you can check this, this is like more of like a hard coded values. So even if you add a slicer here, let's say I want to add a slicer here and bring the product here. It, these two columns are not affected by the change in these values. If I select A, even this column still has A and this column still has B. Basically they are hard coded. So any filter selection affects the first column only because it's just a summarization of sales. But the other two columns, column A and B doesn't get affected. So that's how we can use sum if function, just like how we are using in Excel. Hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.